It's 8.08 now, new on Daybreak. The parents of a Wabash College football player who died from suicide three weeks ago, they're sharing his story. Brittany Lewis had a chance to talk to his parents to share the story and why they're ready to share it. Yeah, good morning. They're very brave to do so. Evan Hansen's parents say they've already received messages from people who said they're talking about their mental health issues for the first time in 20 years. His parents hope to reach more people struggling with their mental health, and they want to encourage people to live like Evan did. On the football field. You put the pads on him, sit him on the field, and instant football player. Adventurous with a smile on his face off the field. Friendly to everyone he met. Evan Hansen impacted many. He was always just uh, very approachable. And had accomplished much in his 21 years of life. He's the captain of the football team. He's doing great in school. He's, he's fluent in Spanish. He's popular. He's got a plan <laughs> for his life. Everything's going his way, but internally he was struggling with something. His parents said about a year ago he told them he was struggling with his mental health. He had been getting professional help. The day he passed he um, was even scheduled to have a, uh, a follow-up session with a, with a counselor. But that day his dad could tell he was not at school based on his iPhone location. And then he wasn't responding to, to my calls or texts so then I was able to use my iPhone to find out where he was and so um, then I had to just call 911 because it was over by then. In the three weeks since his death, Evan's parents have been sharing his story in hopes of reducing the stigma for those struggling with mental health. I've had mental health issues in my family for a long time and so for me I don't think I think of it as a broken leg or you broke your ankle and you can get better. And to encourage people to live like Evan did. He touched the lives of so many people and so many people cared. And it wasn't because he was famous or had lots of money or a captain of industry or anything like that. It was just because he was their friend. Impacting many in his 21 years of life. Evan was an organ donor. His parents say they, that he helped up to 100 people. The day after Evan died, someone from Boston University contacted Evan's dad. Their school of medicine is doing research on CTE, the degenerative brain disease that has been found in football players. He is being tested. His family said it could take many months to get the results. If you'd like to help honor his memory, Evan's family is asking people to consider donating to the Merciful Help Center in Hamilton County. And we do have a link to that right now on wishtv.com. Scott and Nina. Brittany, thanks for telling their story.